Well, with me for more on this is Mohammed Taha from BBC Arabic. Mohammed, thank you for joining us. And I'm sh you're looking at your phone. I'm sure you're looking for the latest updates um, on this story. We're hearing overnight of an attack uh, on a school in Gaza. What do we know about this? Yes, indeed. Uh, uh, Catherine, good morning to you. Uh, this attack apparently happened uh, on the school, according to the uh, the the uh, health authorities in Gaza, saying that uh, the attack happened on uh, a school in northern Gaza, leaving more than 20 people killed. This war, Catherine, reached uh, one of its uh, peaks on uh, all levels, on the ground, on the humanitarian uh, level, and on the politics and the, on the hostage. Uh, also level and on the stranded uh, level on the ground as you as you said there is an attack was an attack on this school in, in northern gaza earlier there was a, an attack on on al shifa hospital again um, and um, and uh, the owner was said that 38 people of its officials killed in that uh, uh, in that uh, conflict as we can see these pictures are from the area around around the hospital uh, also, there, there, there is no a place that became safe in Gaza. Uh, now, the AFP also office say, said that they were attacked by, by some shelling. The Israelis said we didn't uh, attack the AFP office. The, the death toll of journalists in this uh, conflict reached uh, 35 journalists. And both the international body of journalists mm -hmm. and the Arab body of journalists saying that they are go going to the, um, the, the International Court of Justice to complain against that. Yes, and just to say on this school attack, we haven't heard from the Israeli government as to what could have happened there. But um, today we're going to see the U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, going to Jordan, meeting regional leaders. What can we expect from him briefly? Yeah, what we understand that Blinken is seeking uh, to free the American hostages uh, within within the, hand, the hands of Hamas. This is the political, political effort to release the hostages. Uh, at the same time, there is that military effort to release the hostages, which, which is being done by the Israeli uh, army. They are saying that they are besieging Gaza. They are striking uh, these these targets everywhere to to be able to uh, to know where are the hostages and trying to target the the, the strong places to be able to uh, free the hostages. They are using uh, artificial intelligence uh, um, um, systems. I did a report about that earlier. Uh, called the uh, fire factory to uh, to to try to understand where are the hostages and where are the 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 places that they want to uh, attack so the blinken effort is the political effort that is going with the w along with the with the military effort to be able to free uh, more than two, uh, two, 240 hostages that are with the hands uh, uh, of Hamas at the moment. There is also the situation on the cross, uh, Rafah crossing, which is Blinken trying to, uh, to, to ease it. Uh, the, 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 the dual nationals are trying to get out of the crossing, but there are problems like uh, one of the strange problems that the Egyptians themselves, who has who has uh, Egyptian passports, who are trying to cross the border towards Egypt, are not allowed to cross the border. This is a, a very tense situation. We understand that Scotland First Minister Hamza Youssef in laws managed to get out uh, of the uh, of the borders. And uh, we tried overnight also, Catherine, to get communications with Gaza, make phone calls and make uh, contacts with journalists to get updates from Gaza. We were not uh, successful at all because the communications were, were down. Thank you very much. Mohamed Taha from BBC Arabic, thank you very much for joining us. Now, the son of former U.S.